Jonathan is here with another DIY <laughs> pool table. Jonathan, shut up. <laughs> well, Tyler, I want to. Daddy, come on, Daddy. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Jonathan. Come on. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to start doing. Daddy's mean. No, I'm not, Jonathan. I'm definitely not. Well, anyways, we're going to be doing a DIY LPS pool yeah, table. Yeah, you made, you made our niece. Scrub the bathroom floor with only with her tail. <laughs> oh my god, Teddy. Why do you have to really pronounce that to the whole world? How about, let's just go to the materials you'll be needing are. You'll be needing skinny stocks and hot glue gun. Parent supervision is highly recommended. Green, green paper. Green construction paper. Oh, what? Ever. Scissors, sample bottle cap. You can also use a plastic bubble cap, but I'm just saying, I don't know if it will burn. It will burn it when you lose the hot glue gun. Some Q tips, I mean, two picks. You will also be needing this is optional, but it's easier for me to cover with the two picks, but that'll be later in the in this video but you'll be needing like this sticky stuff it's like a color and it's like a sticker sort of I don't know how to explain it but I forgot how it's called but it's sort of like this and it's sort of, and you peel it off and it's like a sticker you also be needing that but it's optional we got some paper board and you'll also be needing some different color beads Today, let's get started you don't have to say my name Jonathan First, start by cutting a square out of your paperboard. Do you mean rectangle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will look something like this. I tried going for at least two inches on the, um, on your width of your paperboard. And I tried making at least three and a half inches on the side. You can also make more than one paperboard if it's not thick enough. I put at least three pieces of paperboard down together because it just gives it a little bit more thickness you know now pick your paper or your um sticker type paper thing i don't know how do you pronounce that and put it on your cardboard okay i went with instead of using the paper i went with the sticker like thing um paper because i just realized i have no glue sticks and it will be bumpy when you go this down on it so you can always use a glue stick guys i just didn't have any that's why i didn't mention it so yeah now we're gonna make the frame of it so first you're gonna take some of your stinny sticks and you're gonna sort of like measure the sides of it and then you're just gonna sort of like glue them together and guys when you're gluing the frame make sure you put one drop of glue and then you hold on together for at least 10 seconds or maybe 15 i don't know because i want to be really sure that it stays together and guys when you're also doing this i will probably just glue to make two l shapes to, and then glue them on this because i yeah instead of making the whole frame by itself and then gluing it on just saying once you are done hot gluing the frame, cut off the excess. Now you are basically done with the top part of your, um, <laughs> sorry, uh, of your top part of your pool table. Now what you're going to do is get your Snapples bottle cap and just glue it on top. And if you think it's probably a bit invisible to see the this part of it you don't have to do the next part what i'm just about to do it's really optional but what i'm probably about to do is just cut out a long strip of my green paper and glue it on the size of my staple bottle cap but first i'm just gonna glue this on top of it okay now don't glue this on top of your bottle cap <laughs> um if you want to cover the side with it with paper then do it before you glue it this on top okay sorry i got a little bit confused there by myself so yeah okay now it's time for jonathan's craft i guess that goes with it 
with the pool table. I'm just making the pool table. He's making like the accessories and stuff. But he wants it to be called Jonathan's Crafts. Like I have DIY Teddy. He wants it to be called Jonathan's Crafts. Yes, it sounds better today. I know Jonathan. Gosh, so here he goes. Hi guys, it's me Jonathan, and today I'm going to show you my Jonathan's crafts. Now with the pool table Teddy made, he to now we're gonna make some accessories that are so really easy. Now you'll be needing a hot glue gun, a toothpick. You might need more than one if you want other people to play. I think I might make four. And you need some dark blue construction paper. You can also lose black. Lose black. And you can also need some paperboard. Now let's get started. First I'm going to start with your pool stick. That's what you're going to be hitting the balls on your pool table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you're going to do with your toothpick is first cut off the both of your pointy ends. Not both of them, I just mean one of them. It looks something like this. Now you're basically done, but if you want to add some color, you can use some of the sticky color tape in different in any color you want. I forgot to mention this because I'm Jonathan. Yeah, so, uh-huh. Now this part is optional, optionable for your pool stick. You can get like a dark color marker, marker and color the tip of it. It will look something like this. Wait, let me get the camera to focus on. Yeah, it will look something like this once you're done. And you can make as many as you want. I will at least do at least four of them. Then once you are done making all four of them, now we're going to make the triangle that goes in the middle that holds all the balls. Now, what you're going to do is first cut out a thin, a pretty, a little thick, like a centimeter, a centimeter thick um, strip of paperboard. Once, once you're done cutting out your strip, cover it in blue or back, black color paper. Once you are done, Covering your strip of cardboard with paper, um, glue it into a shape of a rounded triangle. It will look something like this once you are done. Make sure it can fit at least six beads in it. Next, you're going to get your beads and a black sharpie. This is only if you don't have any other color beads, like red blue like these are all the colors you're probably going to be need you're probably going to need be needing blue red orange purple purple a blue red orange purple and green five different colors but i only have white so what i'm going to be just using is a taking a black sharpie and and like drawing number one, and then number two, and then number three. How many beads you have? Guys, just saying, when right after you draw your numbers, make sure you let them dry to at least two minutes. Or may, just to be sure, at least maybe ten minutes. Okay, guys. Just to be sure, um... Don't, once you're done drawing your numbers, make sure you let them dry to at least two minutes. Or if I I just want to be sure if I if you want to be sure just make it at least ten minutes. Now how to set up the game to to show them how you're gonna be playing it is what you're gonna do is take you're gonna get your pool table and you're gonna put one and then two and then three like you put them in the form of a triangle like in here to fit it in. Then it'll look something like this. You don't have to put them to in order if you don't really want to be really realistic, if you know what I mean. But I will put them in order. And then I'll just take a white, regular white bead and put it right there where the corner is pointing. 
Ha ha, Jonathan, I win again. Oh, you always win. Why, Teddy? Why do you do this to me? It's just because I'm better than you. Gosh. Oh, why, Teddy? Jeez. Oh, so anyways, that's how you make an LPS pool table. Hope your LPS has fun playing pool. Whoa! I do. Look at that. Always win. Always, always win. Dancing on the pool table. Teddy, get off the pool table. Bye, guys.